Hey there, Darren Lutchen here from 365 Assist. So today I was trying to work on uh, having a dataverse tables, uh, one that has a header, an order header, and an order line. And what I'm trying to achieve is to filter the order header based on uh, columns from the order line. So just have a shorter version of the order header, just sub records that are based on certain filters within that order line. It was a little difficult to do. I didn't see anyone out there that had this solution. It took me a little while to figure it out, but actually the solution is quite simple. So let me show you. So before I dive into the, the Power App itself, I thought it'd be easier just to show you a bit of a design so you understand what I'm trying to achieve here. <clears throat> so the first bit here would be the table that I'm creating here. Uh, and you can see, um, so the first bit is just a header table that will have three customer records in it. It's pretty simple. Then I'm gonna create an order lines table that's going to have um, one table, but a number of records. So this has three customers, the three customers from the order header table, and each of those customers have an item and they have an allocated. This is the filter where I'm gonna need the filter on. So where they're, what I'm after is, I want the customer order table where their line items, their line items have an allocated that says yes. So basically what I'm after is these three records here from from that's filtered from the lines table, but I actually want the order header table. So for customer, you know, whether it's customer one, I want yes, there'll be two yeses. So I want customer one, customer two will have no uh, allocated records in their line items. So I won't want customer two, but in customer three, I'm going to want it because it has an allocated uh, line item. So at the end of the day, what I want is a table that looks like similar to this, which is on the right here, which is the orders allocated. So I only want customer one, as I said, because yes, there's at least one record that they have an allocated of yes, and customer three, they have one record, at least one record with allocated yes. So let me show you now in Power Apps how this is all put together. So the first thing in Dataverse is I've just got the two simple tables. I've got a customer order header and a customer order lines table that I've created in Dataverse. And they are connected. The header and the lines is connected by a, um, um, a relationship. So there's a relationship between the, the two that I've got there. There, there's a relationship there with the customer order lines. So let's go to the Canvas app and see how I was able to build this merge. So in the first screen here, all I'm showing is that that order header tape, that table order header. And within that table order header, I've got the name, just the customer name there or the, with the three customers. I've created another field, custom field called location types, just to show you later how that can be, can be seen. So at the end of the day, what I'm gonna to wanna to see is uh, from the example I showed before is customer one with a local uh, location type and customer three with a location type of international. In screen two here, I'm just showing again from the table. So these, are, this is connected to a table, the customer order lines table. Again, this time I'm showing the customer name, which is related back to the table order header. Uh, I've got another field within the order lines, just the item, I've called the item, and that allocated field that I wanna filter on. So I'm gonna wanna filter on those allocated that are, that are yes here. Uh, that I'll show you. So the first bit is, this is gonna be used by a number of collections. So let me just show you the first collection out of the three that I've created. So the first part of this is, you, as I said, creating a collection. I've got a button down here that runs that, creates that collection, does a clear collect. Let's show the first one. And you have to run all three in an order together. So the first order that I've got is clear collect for a call order lines allocated. And all I'm doing is filtering the custom order lines table, which is this second table here, where allocated is true. So if I press the button, I expect to see only the true ones. And there we go. So, or yes, true equals yes. It's the same thing because the way I've got it in Dataverse is that uh, the true is a, is a choice field. So I've got the three here, which are the two customer ones with their item A and C, and the second custom is a customer three with yes. So that's all very nice. Again, the fields are the same. That's uh, looking up the customer name in the customer order header. There's a field here called item and there's the allocated. So not, not much difference there in that first collection. 
The second collection is where it gets a little bit tricky. So in this one, what I've had to do is add to the existing. So that top line is the first one I just showed you before. The second one is a second clear collection, which is on top of the first one. So the way I need to do this is I've created another collection. This one I've just called collect or call order lines and I've added a column and the only column I've needed to add to make a different is to bring in the order header, uh, the, the fields from the order header that match. And if I run this, it's not gonna look a, look a lot different from the one before. I have just changed this field just to make it look like that it's coming in from the order header. Now, why have I done that? So let's go into the back end and look at the collections themselves. Now in this new uh, Canvas app, they've changed where you see collections. It took me a minute to find out. If you hit the three dots, it used to say collections here. Now you go to open and it's an old screen here you're probably familiar with and over here are the collections. So let's look at order lines, which is that collection I've just created. If I go to the standard order lines collection and bring all the fields, I get these tables here, which are the links to the order header table. Uh, and if I click on that, nothing happens. I don't see anything. So I've actually had to create an add a column where I can control the connection and the fields that I want from the order header. So I've created one called my order header over here. And if I click on here, I can now see that I get the one record across here, which is the customer one for that particular record. The next one will also be a customer one because that was the second one I think in the line, yep. And then the third one should be customer three, because that's the third one. So there you go, customer three. So each one of those records in the call order lines has a new one that I've created. So let's go back to that. And if we go back to the button, you can see my order header, which is what I've created here, a new column. I've added that as a column. And all I've done is brought the, it says customer name, but it's basically bringing all the records across from the header. So you need to do that as a second point um, collection. And the third and final collection that you have to create at the bottom here is this. So it's really quite, again, quite easy if I go to the button. The third one, all it's doing is taking this, this last one that I showed you and just making a distinct out of it. So you don't get the duplication of customer one duplicated here. So if I hit the button and run that one, I'll just hide that, you'll see now that it has taken the duplication off here. So there's your name. Now it comes in with a value, when you use distinct, you now get an item called value. And after that, you can now choose the fields that you want. So that's for the name. If I go to the location type, it's this item dot value dot location types. So they're the different values you can choose that comes out of this table. So it's collection art, three collections, one after the other that you have to build. And there's the code again the three collections that you have to build to get that again. And this last one, you could probably use, this last collection as a gallery here, you could probably choose into a menu or a subset, whatever you want to do with it. Obviously it's a, a new table that you've created based on the merging of and a filter of those two. So I hope that, hope that helped you and uh, thanks for listening and watching.